Now that I've logged into Google Drive, I want to start using some of the cool accessible materials that I can get through Google Apps for Education. One of the many, many things that's kind of a uh, main staple for using Google Apps for Education, especially when you're using it with students, is Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Presentations. And today we're going to show you how to get into Google Docs and kind of what that looks like. Now, Google Docs, uh, if I go up here into my uh, tiles or Google Apps, as you can see, pops up there. If I click on that, it pops up here, and there it is, Google Docs down here. All right, so if I click on Google Docs, what it's going to do is it's going to open up Google Docs. And when you take a look at Google Docs, you'll see I've got a bunch of different pages I've already started to work on. I'm going to go down to the plus down here and see what it says. It says create new document. So this is what I'm going to do and create a new document. And boom, it opens up and it looks exactly like Microsoft Word. However, this is the Google version of it. So this makes it a shareable document. The first thing I always tell students to do right away is, yes, that's right, title your document. Once you title your document, then that's when Google Apps for Education will start saving it automatically as many times as possible. Therefore, you don't get the same excuse, uh-oh, I didn't save, or it shut down and I didn't save. Well, with Google Apps for Education, it saves all the time. I always tell students, title it with their last name, and whatever the project is. So let's use my last name, Laythorpe, and we will call this Google Docs. All right, so I hit OK. Bam, there I go. I've created my first Google Doc.